Hey guys, Ryan here from Monster Products Arm Wrestling once again. Uh, today I thought I'd give you guys a quick video on one of my favourite supplements, which is creatine. Um, if you're an arm wrestler and you're not taking creatine, uh, I reckon you're crazy to be honest, because creatine is one of the best supplements going around in terms of what it will do for your performance as an arm wrestler. It's massive, okay? Uh, long story short, Creatine is going to give you more adenosine triphosphate in your, in your bloodstream. What does adenosine triphosphate do? It is the energy system that your body is going to use before you start using your lactic acid energy system. Typically, it only lasts sort of 30 to 40 seconds. Um, so like the, the average person may have about 20 to 30 seconds worth of adenosine triphosphate stored up in their body at any one time. Um, when your body contracts muscles to a maximum effort, starts using up that ATP nice and rapidly. Uh, once that ATP is exhausted, what happens is you start to get lactic acid build up in your muscles and your fatigue and the amount of output that you've got reduces. So I guess I like to think about it. Think about a 100 meter sprint. You can do a 100 meter sprint, no worries at all, without getting fatigued. Um, at the end of that, you don't feel any lactic acid it's just a all that explosive event. Compare that to when you say run a 400 meter event. You run 400 meters around the track, you might be going really well for the first 200 meters, then all of a sudden you hit the wall and lactic acid starts flooding into your legs. All right, so what's happened there is you've now run out of ATP. Now, the average person from what I've, what I've gathered in my research has enough ATP to last about 20 seconds to 30 seconds. Um, if you're on a maximal dose of creatine, uh, your ATP stores are going to last about 30 to 40 seconds. So you're going to get an extra 10 to 15 seconds worth of ATP um, when it comes to a maximal effort. Now, put that into a tr into arm wrestling. Um, it could mean the difference between a victory or a loss. It also might mean that you get through more rounds in a tournament before you start getting to that maximal fatigue moment. But picture yourself in a long match, uh, something like Devin Larratt might do, or you're doing a super match. Um, so you're in this long, long match where your opponent's stronger than you, but you're rising, you're trying to get on the outside of them. Um, as soon as that arm wrestling match has been going for about 30 seconds, um, if you're not on creatine, you're going you're gonna to run out of juice right there and then. But if you're on creatine, you're going to get a bit more, and there might be the difference between that and a win. Okay, so in the training environment, all this sort of stuff, what it translates to is just that you can train harder for longer, uh, which means more micro tears in the muscles, which means more adaptation, which means better muscle growth um, faster. Okay, there are some other effects of creatine, like your cell volumizing effects, that are gonna are gonna happen as well. Um, they do vary depending on which type of creatine you've got. Now, there's heaps of heaps of types of creatine. Let me have a look. I've got some notes here. Um, well, what do we got? We got yeah, your creatine monohydrate. That's probably the um, the most tried and tested best form um, in some people and probably in most people's opinions but look there's a heap of creatins out there nowadays that uh, are all about increasing absorption because one absorption sorry one of the things about um, monohydrate is that it doesn't entirely absorb into your body some of the creatine monohydrate turns into creatinine and that creatinine um, doesn't agree with our bodies okay it gives you stomach cramps some people end up sitting on the loo and not having the best of times but um, so there's a lot of creatins out there that I can try and get around those sorts of problems. So things like creatine ethyl ester, um, creatine malate, all these ones are all about increasing the rates of absorption, which um, they do a pretty good job, but they do cost more as a result of it. Other ones like crealkaline. Crealkaline is a pH balance creatine that, that means that it's not going to turn into creatinine at all. So there's, there's no requirement to, to preload that one. There's no requirement to... Um, watch your dosages or anything like that because it's really going to be safe. You, you're not going to get the stomach cramping or anything like that. So depending on whether you're um, an arm wrestler who's trying to stay in a certain weight category, that's going to guide you down the path of which creatine you're going to choose. But um, if you're in one of the heavyweight categories or you don't care about your body weight, then look, something like creatine monohydrate is going to be outstanding. It's going to um, give you all of the strength benefits, all of the endurance benefits, and it's going to give you, give you size as well, which is going to help you on the table. But if you're someone who's trying to stay below a certain weight category, then make sure you're steering clear of the creatins that are going to that are going to make you cell volumize. Um, so you you want to be steering more towards the creatins like creatine um, in that case.
Anyway, guys, look, just a short video here today on creatine. Um, like I was saying, hands down, it's got to be the, my most um, used and favourite uh, supplement that um, is available. It's definitely probably the world's most popular legal performance enhancer, um, and it's been studied more than any other supplement aside from protein. Um, but in terms of performance, uh, it really does pick you up and take you to the next level. So use it as an arm wrestler, it'll make a lot of difference. And um, yeah. Alright guys, well I hope you've enjoyed that video. There will be uh, some text to this video as well, so I'll post this up on the new blog site. And by the way, I hope you are all enjoying the new blog site. Um, if anyone's got any topics they'd like me to cover, uh, feel free to shoot me a message uh, using the contact us that you'll see on the website. Uh, and I'll definitely cover it. Alrighty guys, so enjoy the rest of your day or evening or whatever you're up to, and I'll speak to you next time.